speak. Woohoo, we're live. Woohoo, we're live. We're live. Oh, oh that mournful sound. <laughs> Javi. Are you going to show them what created that mournful sound? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just a rubber chicken. A rubber chicken. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her, her rubber chicken kills my rubber chicken. Here's mine. Oh, not really. <laughs> anyway, where are we on here? I don't see us. Oh, wait a second. Where are we bees? I didn't refresh it. You didn't refresh it. Right oh, there. okay. Yay. Oh, cute. Cute. Cute new thumbnail there. She made all kinds of stuff for this. Yeah, Javi's getting into this. In case you couldn't tell. You want to adjust the angle? It's not... Yeah, just... It's a little bit, like, fuzzy. And this is a fuzzy piece. And they're going to need to be able to see me. Let's see. Maybe move it up a little bit and get a little more light. More light. Just add, I have more light if I push it up, I think, honey. You're pretty good. How's that good? Is that okay? Did you get a picture? Or you couldn't get a picture of no, it? No, I couldn't get a picture. You couldn't get a picture. Oh, yeah, I did. I did print it out. Oh, did you print it? Did you yeah. leave it out there? Yeah, I left it out You maybe want to go get it. Yeah, yeah, well, we're live today. We're here. And the title of this segment is let's fix this jewelry disaster <laughs> you might remember that a few weeks ago um we did this piece over at facebook when i was still doing the lives on facebook sandy roberts hi and um it just it was pretty everybody says oh how pretty you know and it was it was really pretty oh here we go but it was a hot mess now here's a picture of what it looked like and I'm going to tell you what's what I think is wrong with it. Not that I've corrected so much yet, but, you know, we'll do it together. Okay, here's what bothered me. Here's my little pointer stick. Here, I'll use a file. That's appropriate. <laughs> okay. I liked this rose being right here. But this right along in here was too much. It was... You know, interfering with the pattern of this beautiful chintz cameo. And then this swirly thing is great for movement, but once again, it's just hiding this. Now, somebody said, I don't I can't remember if it was last week or during the week somewhere. Well, if this was a big oval pearl cab, would it matter so much? No, it'd be fine then. I'd be really lovely then to have like little tendrils and stuff floating over it, but not in this case. This is a really special cab. It's, it's 50, 60s floral decal made in West Germany. They don't make them anymore, and they don't make pretty ones like this, that's for sure. So we don't want to cover that up. Let's see who's talking to me. Deborah Long, Soleil is here. Hey, Soleil, she came and joined us at the creative group the other day. Oh, really? Yay! <laughs> Nancy's here. Sonny Smith, how are you? Barbara Kelly, how you doing, babe? Feeling better? Oh, just to announce to the world, right? And Barbara was having a little inflammation problem or something, she said. So I'm hoping she's feeling better. I wondered if I'd see her today because I've been worrying about her. Mary Solares, hey, she's from 76 degrees in Arizona. Karen Eaton, how you doing? Got the notification on my phone, but can't figure it out on my computer. Well, maybe Javi can help you because I'm stupid when it comes to stuff like that. Um, Susan Chadwick came, Lisa Lomer, Karen Mansell, hey, my hero. You all find out soon why Karen is my hero. There's Barbara again. She's making a little, looks like, oh, we're celebrating or something. Celebration hard. Chris Kemp, oh, how you doing, my dear friend? Christiana, I think she's new. Thank you for coming, sweetheart. We're glad you came. Annette, hey, here you are. Thanks for coming back. Transfer Essence, Transfer Essence. thanks for showing up. Hello from Maine. I bet it's cold there. Betty Strongman, hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming. Well, listen, let me get back to this and explain what's going on. Now, we established already on here, there's just too much chotch in there. And then this green stone doesn't belong here to my mind. And then this this thing and this thing pearl. While these are beautiful little pieces, it just reminds me of a double-breasted suit. <laughs> I just I just couldn't get a good feeling about that every time I looked at it. And then this pearly cab here that's a heart. 
with a little teal thing on top of it. I'm like, get that out of there. And this this piece here just did, it wasn't speaking to me. You know, if I was really new at this or newer at this, I would say this was a fine, fine effort. So please, if you guys want to do assemblage, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't. But I've been doing assemblage for now going on 30 years. I should be doing better than this, don't you think? Especially if I'm trying to help you guys. Yeah. So I, I started peeling stuff off here last night. And I know different ones have said, isn't it kind of hard to get stuff off that you've glued on with E6000? And I would say, yeah, it is, but it can be done. There are little techniques. So I don't know if there's anything else on here I need to remove. I might figure something. I should have left something on. Um, but anyway, here's the difference. I'll show you about the removal thing, though. It's much flatter piece. Um, it's got a lot. Let me just put that next to it, maybe. Maybe they can see that one because about comparing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, compare it a little bit. A little bit down. Yeah, a little bit down. Okay. There you go. All right. We'll get this figured out. Yeah, that's, well, it's not all in the picture, but it's good enough. I'll just, you know what, I'll just lump it onto there. Lump it oh, onto there. Yeah, you had two big flowers before. Yeah, I yeah. Think. One flower is good enough. Do you guys know that principle of one, three, five, seven, nine, that kind of thing? There's a name for it. Who told me what the name was? I think Ginger Hammond told me what the name is. So I can remember who told me, but I don't remember the name. But it's it's a pattern in math or something, and they use it also in, I think, fiber arts, where you'll put maybe one thing on, but you don't put two. You'd go to three. You don't put four. You'd go to five because that creates flow and movement and it just looks more balanced. So in this case, having this one here and this one here, no, no. This one at the top is okay. Or I could have left this one here instead maybe, but I didn't like because it, it was coming over too far onto the cameo. Okay, so I left this one. And I left this little rose here. This one I haven't glued down yet. I'm trying to decide about that. Then I had these two. No, these were not on there. I had a bunch of pearl glob stuff there. So I put these two. Because I thought they would be a nice foil for this. And kind of balance that out. Now I did have one down here too. But I thought, I don't know. It's a little bit too much. I don't know if I want that there. So I'm still trying to think, do I want this here? But we'll decide in a little bit. I think it, it fits and it looks good, but you got to remember when you do assemblage, it's not just does it fit there. It can fit there, but it has to contribute something to the composition. It's like I'm learning so much about writing from my editor, Valerie. She says, when I write for my book, I have to be sure that I only write down the words that have to do with what I'm talking about and don't put anything extra. Doesn't mean you can't use some adjectives and things to make it interesting, but we got plenty of adjectives on here. <laughs> so you don't want to have more words in a sentence than you need to make your point and make it interesting. The same way with a necklace composition or any kind of assemblage composition you do. You have to have enough. But if you have more than what's necessary, it just makes your eyes go on overload, like right now. Thank you, Javi, for that. <laughs> she bumped it. I have these little little compartments over here that um, they're freestanding and, and they really should be mounted to something. <laughs> anyway, let's see who else is coming in. Clara, I'm glad you made it live too. Lisa says, let's keep the tassel at least, please. Yes, the tassel is staying. You need that for balance. I, I put tassels on the bottoms of a lot of things because I just kind of feel it balances it. So, yes, that is staying. Let's see. Alexandra Steely, hello yourself. Hey, there's Colleen. How you doing? Is it Claire or Ciara? I'm, I need new glasses. No, Ciara. Okay, Ciara McInerney. CR McInerney. Okay. Tinker D59. No, you're not too late, honey. We're just getting started. 
Yeah, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's, Sorry, she's, she's got to, she's got to, she's got to run the rubber chickens. You know. You see, they can't see that, honey. They still can't. No, they can't see that. There it is. <laughs> I think they came to see the necklace thing. I know. I have to oh, she away. just has to be fun. <laughs> Javier Perry says, yay. Yvonne. Fibonacci. Fibonacci sequence. Is that it? That sounds about right. Is that how you say it? Fibonacci. No, it would be five if it's Italian. It would be Fibonacci. Fibonacci, because the vowels are soft. In Italian, just like Spanish. I don't know how you would say that in Spanish. I don't know. Es de secuencia. No sirve. I don't know. Anyway, um, Sandy, how you doing? Pamela Stansbury, thanks for coming. You're not late, honey. We're just getting the party started. Um, Pat Jones, Cheryl Roberts, Juju, Ingrid. Oh, wow. Clara Ho Sierra Holloway. Okay, that's it. we got two Sierras. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for coming. I'm through. It looks like we got about 44 people already. Yes. Somebody said they want the yes. chicken back. <laughs> oh, they, oh, someone wants the chicken back. Who wants the chicken back? <laughs> hey, yay, rubber chicken. We're just this is like the glue here. I want the chicken back. Sierra says, okay, here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming on down the line. You think we'll go viral? <laughs> okay. He's going on down the line this way now. All right. Maybe someday we can do dueling rubber chickens. <laughs> You guys yeah, can be, the, we can do it live and do, you guys can be the audience. Okay, but today we're doing this. Let me get back to it. All righty. V Dueling's here. Samantha Manzel. All right. My dog is going nuts. <laughs> 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 do that. You know, this is what it's all about, guys. I like to show you something, but it's about, let's have some fun and cut loose. You know, I, I got to say it. If any of you can manage to come to the May workshop, and some of you have been there. Barbara Kelly came last year, and she is wonderful. I hope she'll be feeling good to come sometime again. Um, we have an incredible time. We do. It's like old home week, high school reunion, yeah. family reunion. Javi's been to every last one of them. Yep. She loves it. She's like... A crazy little kid running around. She's so excited when it comes time for that. We just, we just are peas in a pod, birds of a feather, and rubber chickens would definitely belong there. What do you say? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd you, get everybody's attention. You know too. what? We should, we should hunt around on the internet and see if we can find enough rubber chickens for everybody. I don't know. They might run us out of the hotel if we did that. Yeah, they probably would. Wouldn't that be too funny? Give everybody a rubber chicken with a big bow around its neck. <laughs> a charm, a, a charm that says yeah. Bisu. <laughs> a little dusty charm. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to this now. Hoping to come this year. Colleen, I hope you do, honey. We really loved it the year you came. It was awesome. Um, okay, so we've established too much junk going on in here. And as you can see, I peeled it off. And I began to tell you that, yes, you take it off with difficulty. But there are ways. Let me see if there's anything at all on here that I can take off yet. Yeah, I was wondering, how do you take it off with the E6000 already glued on there? Uh, well, it takes a little do doing. I'm going to put this off? aside now. Um, yeah, and you can't worry about saving the piece. If you do, that's just a little added plus. Um, if you go careful, you may have success in removing the piece. This was the one that I took off the other side yesterday, and it's good. So I had some success there. Um, I'm going to see if I can take this pearl off, although I kind of like it there, but I'm going to take it off and just show you guys my technique, if I can. Now, watch me just crack this whole thing up. Okay, I use these crummy little tweezers, which I use them a lot. I can't live without these. You know, I did get my crystal katana and my jewelry artist pick-me-up tool, all that, and they're great, but there's just some, there are just some times you got to have these. So we still carry them for that matter. But anyway, you can get them any place. But if you're going to buy them, you can buy them for me, right? Okay, so you can see now I'm going underneath of it, the edge, and I'm just kind of loosening. Another thing, I'm going to take this off because it's not glued down. 
Um, another thing you can do, you could take a swab and put Goo Gone on it. Do you have Goo Gone in your workshops? If you don't, you need to get some because it comes in really handy for cleaning up E6000. Um, but I'm just kind of getting it in there. Listen, I'm all the way under it. Now you can see I'm lifting it up. It's kind of like pulling teeth, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I have to ask my dentist. Um, so now I've got it off. Oop, flipped up. That was that one was easy. This when I took this off yesterday, that was not easy because I really didn't want to break it. I went easy, but when you get under the base of it, you know, with these, just kind of slide them under. To get under however you can. Just kind of loosen the edge. Sometimes it'll resist you, which is good. It shows you it's, it's glued down right. You know, it's really glued down good. But in time, you can coax it off. And sometimes if you start to have some trouble getting it off or you want to remove the glue under it, sometimes you're going to glue right over. It doesn't matter if it stays, but sometimes it does. If you want to remove the glue under it, I use my handy-dandy flush cutters. And um, I have a little bit of glue here. Let's see if we can get it off with that. If not, once again, if I left this button exposed, which I don't intend to, um, I could take Goo Gone and rub over there and just kind of coax it off and it would come. But I wouldn't run Goo Gone over something that I'm going to glue again anytime soon. So you see I'm just pulling it up and getting rid of it. Yeah. So this is the glue removal technique I would use. Would acetone work? Um, it might. It might. But a Goo Gone... Goo -gone I think it's a little better because yeah. acetone can remove color sometimes and do other kind of nasty things. Plus, some of our friends here have fake nails. And if you do, you know acetone nail polish remover is a big no-no because it will melt your nails. At least it used to. I used to get nails like for years and years on end because mine looked so crummy. And then finally I said, forget it. But anyway... I used to get them, and I had to be real careful that if I used remover, it was non-acetone. I'm going to quick coax this a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Though I don't really need to because I'm going to glue over this. But anyhow. Sometimes, too, if there's a big glob of glue left on there, it cre creates dimension in the base of the piece and that you may not want. So it's good to get rid of it if you can. Okay, that's good enough for now. All right, so we've got some spots here we need to fill in. We're not done yet. I didn't strip this all on here to leave this all exposed off of here. So I had determined that a button is going to go here. I'm going to let more buttons show. This is going to be kind of a sweet, sentimental, buttons and bows type piece. Okay, Let's see who else is on here. Anybody? Yellow, orange, red. I'm only 15 minutes late. That's okay, honey. We're just getting started. Um, can you tell us more about the May get-together? How do we sign up? Um, Lisa, I open the um, classroom. It's not a classroom. It's just a special event room. It's on Facebook. Just like the creative group. Okay. If you yeah, if you've come before, um, well, there's no point in them going there because it's not open yet. We'll do that though when the time comes. Very good idea. Um, you go, and if I don't have you in there already, because if you've come before, I've probably got you in there. But if I don't, and you can't get in, just let me know you want in, and I'll put you in. And I do all the business for this thing on Facebook. So, yeah, you may have to hold your nose if you don't like Facebook and come to Facebook, because i got to do it in one place. I can't work with you if you email me and say I want to come, but I'm not on Facebook. You got to come to Facebook. You got to be in that group to get the details. In this way, I got to do it because other than that, you know, I might forget to notify you or something. This way, everybody knows it's right there. It's posted. I don't take it down later. But anyway, you come in, and I kind of, I kind of open it usually around the third week of February, so that'll be coming right, right up, not too long, and um, everybody just kind of gets to know each other or it's like old home week and the party gets going even for the ones who can't come that year a lot of times they'll come to the event group and hang out because we have a good time before sometimes we will have little get giveaways and prizes and all that stuff so we have fun before too 
And then um, usually around the end of February, beginning of March, I release the contract. And the contract tells you about everything that you can expect from me and everything I need to expect from you. It lays out all the expenses for the whole weekend, what's, what you're going to have to come up with to do it. And if you're flying in, where to fly in, and the directions to get to the hotel is like super simple. If you come to Pittsburgh, I encourage you to come to Pittsburgh International Airport if you're flying. Um, you can also make arrangements there to get a roomie and split the cost in the room. Many, many of them do it. Sometimes some of them will get a suite room and put three or four of them in there. And it saves them a lot of, t a lot of, lot of uh, money to do that. So you can do that too. But we have a good time in there. <clears throat> and then the event is the third week of May. It's right after Mother's Day and right before Memorial Day. So usually we have some pretty nice weather. And we have it at uh, Dutch House Inn in Columbia, Ohio, which is about 10 miles from where I live. And um, we have the whole event there. We don't leave to do anything else except our get-together dinner on th Thursday night, which we used to have at the Mexican restaurant. We will not be having it there again because they disappointed us last year. Yeah. Yeah. Did. So Gloria Allen found us a really nice place to go instead, and we're going there for Italian this year. Yay! Yay! I like Italian. <laughs> so Lee Koopman had to get her pie out of the oven. Ooh, pie. <laughs> Someday I'll make it there. Ingrid says, oh, Ingrid, if you could, I would be so happy to meet you. I've known you so long. It would be delightful if you could come. But anyway, we're there. We start the class on Friday. We go through Saturday and Sunday, so it's three days. And then we have a party and an open house on um, Sunday night. And I bring in delightful little stuff that you may not have seen on the website and some of it's stuff you, only you guys can get. Um, and then in the morning we have breakfast together, Monday morning, and everybody takes off. That's pretty much how it goes. I mean, you can leave after class on Sunday, but you miss out some of the fun if you do. So anyway, that's how that goes. <clears throat> we have just such a blast. This year I'm teaching all three days. I'm not, in, I'm not bringing a teacher in, and we will not be doing polymer clay this year. Not that there's anything wrong with polymer clay. I love polymer clay. Um, but for some reason, Katie Oskin wasn't able to make it after all, and that's okay. Uh, we love our Katie. Maybe she'll do it another time, but um, I'm qualified to teach just fine. And so we're going to be doing tissue decoupage, art charms, a little more assemblage, and wonky wire wrap. And Javi's going to show us some things that she knows about wire wrapping. She's a good wire wrapper. So um, that's what we're going to do. And it will take the three days up, and we will have a blast. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I will let you guys know when that, that room is open. Okay, enough about that. Let's see who else showed up. Barbara, gorgeous venue, Barbara says. Yeah, it is. It's a very nice place. Yeah, Carol Carlson's here. Carol has come to the to the um, workshop before. Yeah, that was supposed to be I'm here. Yeah, we know you're here. We're so glad to, Carol. We're so glad you came. You're awesome. Some people say we're in Ohio. We're in Ohio. Okay, we're right on the Ohio PA line. We're about 35 minutes from Pittsburgh Airport. So close to Pittsburgh. But no Pittsburgh traffic. Yay. Yeah, Thank country. goodness for that. It's country. All country. Okay, so let's see if we can fill this in and make it look right. Now, I, w I had said I wanted to put a button up here. So if I put a button up there, I'm probably going to need to put one around here somewhere or else put that uh, pearl back because it does need something there. So I need a really tiny button is what I need. I have this one, but it's got really a lot of dimension, and I don't care for that. So what else do I have that's not too big? That kind of is cute. I like that with this here. Huh. So if I do that, I need a button here, because then I'll have it coming down along, and then something to stick in there, and then something to stick in there. So that has to be decided here. What will I do? Okay, so put that button. I gotta find the right size button to make this work. 
No, I don't like that one. This one. You want to get the pearl buttons that are kind of flat. Yeah, that could work. And then i got to find the right thing to put in here. Now, I had thought that maybe I'd put some more leaves in here. But then look what I do, what happens when I do. If I put more leaves in there, then I'm going to have to find some for here because I think it'll throw it off. Let me look in the iPad. And see. It kind of does throw it off. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to make, I need to build this out a little bit more here so it can match what's going on here. But I think I can do that with buttons too, like by doing uh, this. Maybe this. And, um, hmm. Somebody wants to shout something out, I'll be looking. Um, might do one up in here, but I would rather it be under something if I did it. I don't want to get too many buttons. Then I got the same problem that I already had. Too much. Let me look in there and see. This is cool. If you want to make this, look in your iPad and see what it looks like. It's your automatic camera. Maybe like a little Do you think a little leaf like that, yeah, maybe? Yeah, smaller. Okay, thanks, Harvey. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Just see. It might. And, you know, it goes with the other stuff. I'm not crazy about those green leaves in this, but I'm not going to take them out I either. Give you a, little yeah, um, a little more <laughs> oomph or something. If I don't, I'm going to have to remove this glue gob. Yeah, it kind of looks like this branch just continues there a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if I like this up here or not. Anybody say anything? What do you think? Anybody say anything? Oh, wow, that is doable. I could get there. Okay, you come, yellow, orange, red. Oh, somebody said, how to... about more rhinestone and less buttons? Yeah, I thought about that too, but my problem right now is rhinestone? I don't have the right flat back. So... If this was yours and you could wait, then maybe you'd want to wait to find some. I have these, but they're dark colors. Yeah, I see them. So, or bright colors. It's just little ones. I've been cutting some rhinestone chain up to put in there. See, like, that's the last thing I want to put in there. Hyacinth. And then they have some opal colored ones, and they have some alexandrite ones in here. That would probably go. I thought of that, too. I wish I had just the right little stones, but I don't. So I'm just going to keep moving on. But yes, that is a very good idea. Who said that? Who said that? I think it was Lisa. Susan. Lisa said that? For the yeah. rhinestone stuff? I want to come soon, Ben. I'm always working that month. I'm sorry, Susan. You know, it's hard to pick just the right month for everybody. I wish I could. Um... So I think I'll put that there. I was going to put this here. And then, or do I want to put this down here? Before I start gluing. I don't know. It might look like a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to put here. I was going to put another rose here. Or no, it was going to be up here. That's right. Yeah, you had a little more. Little rosy yeah, I was going to put that up there and make more of a cluster. i got to see what it looks like on this side, though. Yeah, that works. Somebody said maybe a rose mom tea on the bottom. Yes! Side. Do we have any out there? How many? Because I don't have any back here. Um, um, I think there's some out there. I don't I have any. I have some rondelles out in the warehouse. Yeah. You want to go I check? You don't think there are any good? Oh, that's true. They could be on some like order. Yeah, we have to. I have to order them again. Yeah, we better not take them. Rats. Rosemont teas are excellent. Excellent stuff for oh, assemblage. Yeah, I did have some and I used them. Oh. Yeah, they'd be gone. So you know what? I'm just gonna start doing. It. And if it isn't perfect, so I could change it again. Or hey. Maybe I'll give this away today. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. What do you think? How about if I give this away today? That might be cool. I think maybe 
I want to do a little double row here that makes it a sweetness, I think. And then one up here. I like that. More bling. More bling to it. Let's see what it looks like here on the iPad. Where I go on my system button. Instead of the button on top, what about putting a pearl cap? I could. I could put it back. Gold leaf on the opposite side that needs some filling. Yes. Yeah, I have some holes here yet. Definitely. Ginger. Hey, Ginger. How you doing? Carol Love's music is back. I love the necklace before. It was looking better now. Yes, I have to say it does. It just was too blobbed up. That's for sure. Yeah, I covered it up. Woot, woot. Who doesn't look in a giveaway? Yeah, no matter what it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> giveaways are good. Giveaways are awesome. She loves giveaways, but she can't have it. She works here. Yeah, I work here. I get enough giveaways. <laughs> and she's my niece. She is my niece. I got a niece from Chile. How good is that? I got it's myself awesome. I got myself a Chilean niece. It's mostly American. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly American. My mom's more she, Chilean. She came here when how old were you? Eighteen months old or something? No, my sister was six months and I was only a year. Oh, maybe less than that. Wow. Cause she, yeah, I think it was about to be a year. Mm-hmm. And I then, was a tiny toddler. Then <laughs> her and Rod fell madly in love at the shop. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. They fell madly in love. We, we were had so a lot glad. Of things in common. Yeah, you're both <laughs> geeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rob, we never could figure who in the world Rob would marry because he just was a little different. <laughs> I love my nephew. He's like my second son. But anyway, here comes Rob, and he met Javi, and they just were like peas in the pod. He was so nuts about her. Oh, my word. So then they got married and lived happily ever after. In fact, you're going to have what, you're, is it, what anniversary is it, third? Third, yep. Third anniversary. Eight. They bought a house. No, wait, it's fourth. Fourth? Oh, <laughs> man, time man, flies. I'm yeah, I'm lost, too. She's just got four years. <laughs> now, see, you can understand why I can't remember, because I've been married for... Since seventy five, so that's yeah. That's how some, I calculate. Gotta do some math there, but uh, she's not been married that Still long. So. Okay, I'm gonna put this rhinestone chain down. I just gotta measure and see if I have enough because I don't have any more of this kind. Somebody said, "Can you cut the rhinestone chain and use a single piece throughout your necklace?" Yeah. See this? You know when you cut rhinestone chain up. It's kind of like rosemary teas. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. I use it. I do that. So we'll get some blingy dingy from that. How's that? Okay. So I think I need to cut it about here. Then hopefully I have enough for the top because I wanted to put a little crown of rhinestone chain here to fill it because I got a little hole underneath my rose. Yeah, I like that. Me likey, me likey. Me likey that. So I got to tell you what came here on Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On Friday, I got five boxes from over at the factory. I had asked Mr. Bernie if he had any more 1928 watch faces because I had run out. Or nearly so. And all the watch faces were from the timepieces collection, which they made in the 80s and 90s and haven't made for a long time. Anyway, he goes, well, I got everything that's left from that collection, including some broken things that they look pretty good. You could actually wear them if you wanted. He says, I know you will because you don't care. I'm like, no, I don't. He goes, well, how about if I just send it all to you? And I'm like... Really? <laughs> he goes, well, you know how much there is because you looked at this before. And I'm like, yeah, I did. I looked at it before. He goes, all right. He says, I'll get it together. The guys will send it to you. So I did pay him. It was an insane price. I don't mean insanely high. He is very good to me. Um, but I, I did pay him. But anyway, so I got five boxes. And I got 
and I, I didn't open it right away because I'm like, there's a lot of work here. Because when I get those kind of boxes from Mel, I mean, I'm sitting on my butt back here and sorting stuff for days on end. Not that I hate it, but it, it's a lot. It's a <laughs> lot. Yeah, when we bought that brass out of the design room, it was like three months it took to go through that craziness. Okay, that's in, 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 in. Looks good. You Nike. So anyway, it came. And there were a lot of things that were from the catalog. I have an old timepieces catalog, so I thought this is great for the book. So, and then there's all these watch movements, watch faces, watch cases. Crazy good stuff in there. You guys are going to love them. I found this. Let me show you. Well, I'm waiting for that to set a little bit. I got, I don't remember seeing this in the catalog, but. They were famous for doing rose gold and silver together. Some of the first people we ever did. So this is rose gold on a bangle. Rose gold is, and yeah. Is that stunning or what? Let's see if you can see it. Now, the only thing that's wrong with this is that this needs a battery. And it should work. But I can't figure out for the life of me how to get into it. So I have to ask Mel. If I can get into it and get a battery on it, and so it could work fine, but you know what? If I don't, I don't care. I don't care at all. I'll still wear it anyhow because it's gorgeous. It's got little charms hanging off the side. Oh, so he put it on the side. Yeah, That's pretty right. Cute. Yeah. Huh. They don't make these these bangles a hinge anymore either. But you can see it's 1928. See all the leafy swirly stuff going on there. This bangle would have been over a hundred dollars. It was an expensive line. I have a lot of them with the original price tags on out there. It's amazing what people pay for it, but they did. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's get back to this. Let's get this chain on here. Get this done. What else did we want to show? Oh, I wanted to show you my necklace from the video on uh, Friday. Did you guys get to see it yet? We did a standard video on Friday. And um, let's cut it right here. And I'll cut it again because this way I'll have a couple little blingy dingies to put on. Um, it was about making your own wardrobe of chain extenders. And I don't know, you might think, well, that's not very interesting. You know, I mean, what do you teach me there? I think if anything, I taught how important that could be to you when you sell your jewelry because anything that you can add on or customize for a customer I mean they're going to be your customer for a long time they love that stuff and with a chain extender you can do that because they might say I love this necklace but I wouldn't wear it this short well ta-da take a little bit of chain with you cut it put a uh, Clasp on one end and an O-ring on the other. You can see it in the video. See, it's super simple. And then you're good to go. And yes. now, now you can do, you know, give it to somebody and you can make a whole bunch of them and just sell them on the side too. Cool. What do you want to say, Javi? Oh, somebody said, I saw the video and enjoyed learning from it. Oh, you did? Well, I'm glad. I think a lot of us, you know, that's not rocket science for us, but there might be some people who would see that video and they don't make jewelry. And they might realize, well, I can do that. Who knows, maybe they'll become jewelry makers. But, you know, it's a nice little tip to share with somebody how to do that. I don't think I knew that either. You didn't know no, that? No, I didn't. It's, it's so simple. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and, and then, you know, like I said, you can customize stuff for people. Or you can um, just make up a bunch of them in every plating shade. You know, for your Etsy stop, shop. I should have left this a little tiny bit longer. Oh, well, it'll be all right. Um, for your Etsy shop, you could just sell them. Like, here's some gold ones. Here's some silver ones. And here's some brass ox ones. You know, just like that. And uh, it'll be great for you. Okay, so I've got a little hole there, but I can take care of that. Because I had a few pieces left. 
So, let's see if I can just glue that in there. Yep, it'll fit just great. So, up in here, it doesn't matter so much if it goes all the way to the end because I'm going to probably put something there. I like this. It gives a little more bling. It looks more expensive. Um, just gives it a little something, you know? A little something, something. It makes the focal piece come out more. It too. does. It kind of makes it pop, you know? I always say that about bead caps. I always say, you know, good be great beads are great beads. But when you put caps on them, then they pop. I didn't put any caps on these. But that's that's rare for me. I must not have had the right kind to do it. I'm going to be putting in a big section of bead caps, too. We used to have more bead caps than anybody, and then I got away from it, and I don't know why. But that's going to change. Bead caps. Yeah, bead caps are important. Now, it stops short of here. So, if I put one, I don't know. Maybe I'll put little caviar pearls in there. That might be a good choice. Then I got a little dilemma there of what to put. Um, I don't really want to put another pearl there because it'll look kind of globby and I don't think I want to put a button because it'll, no. Uh -uh. I'll probably just fill in with pearls there. i got to think on that one. i got to ruminate on it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's what's fun about this. This is really relaxing. And I tend to be an impatient person. <laughs> I find this very relaxing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply my buttons, and then maybe I will see what other kind of fill I need. But then you'll kind of get more of a, an idea of what this is going to look like at the end. What are you laughing about? I'm laughing at somebody's comment. Well, tell me. Share it with me. Okay. I can't see yellow, it. Yellow, uh, yellow, orange. Um, yellow, think, orange, red, I think. I think is what she it, goes by. What she goes by, yeah. She says, I hate you, so sad and glue tubes. The glue seems to seep out of them. <laughs> she says, the tiniest pressure of, tiniest pressure, and the glue spills out like an apple. <laughs> is that, do, is it doing it here? Is On that, the little tube, she says. Is that happening here? Well, that's what she's saying. That, that's what it's happens. not happening here. Why is that? Yeah, I, I, that's a good question. It's technique. And believe me, I know what you're talking about, honey, because I have had that experience many times but then I learned how not to have it and that is very gentle pressure and keeping it cleaned up as you go and I don't have a lot of issues with that in fact somebody remarked about that hey what if I put that in there Toronto you don't have a lot of glue mess no I don't but sometimes yeah especially if I use the bigger tube I will tend to have more of the issue you're talking about with the bigger tube that's why I don't use them now they are more economical, but I think you you lose so much glue from it blobbing out that you might as well just get the little ones. And we do sell them at the site. They're not expensive, but they cost more than you know. Till you average it out, you'll have more into it than you would if you bought a big big one. I think for the use. And as he, you know, it does get a little stringy, but then too, here's my glue technique. Maybe I didn't share this with you. I just get the, it down in there a little bit. I call it chip and dip. And just get some, and then I come from this side and I slide it into place. And this way, the glue will go underneath and fill it and keep it together. Now, I do have one little issue here, is this thing here. So I can lift this up a little bit, put that under there. Is it down? Yes, nicely. Okay. So now I get a little bit more dimension on my leaf. Okay. So yeah, that's a big. I'll tell you if you think e success is bad, try hypo tube cement. It it's I what I do with that, and you do you can do this with e six thousand too, and maybe it'll help you. Um, you can get uh, maybe a Ziploc, something that's you know plastic. And you could put that down and just put spread some on there. Yeah. I think and then take it off with a toothpick and work with a toothpick. Yeah, I think that um, a lot hydro, of people. The hydro. Hypotube. Tube cement, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. That thing explodes. 
that definitely that definitely is package. the what you need to use and some people said well then why would i even want to use it it's such a pain for me and you know maybe some big to differ but for me you know i came up in the antiques trade and i had to learn fixed jewelry and i fixed a lot of jewelry and sold a lot of jewelry before i ever made any and hypotube cement was what we used because it doesn't eat the foil and i've never found anything that worked better so i have to say i'm not looking i'm satisfied with it but it is a bear and one thing you want to watch too if you're um set in stones um they have the jewelry um jewelry uh, super glues be careful with those because they, sometimes it might be okay for the stones but they're not a lot of times good for um working with um the metal they can interact with the metal just like the glue interacts with the stones they can interact with the metal and one day you come you won't see it at first one day you'll come and you will see this spidery film forming all over your piece and you're like hey what is it's a reaction that's having i've had that miserable experience before it was sad anyway i'm going to stick this one in here and i have a little gluey thing that i gotta compensate for Somebody had a push question. this in here tell me honey oh, lauren said do you how do you know if you're using enough glue to keep everything secure without using too much well if if you have it oozing out then you know you use too much but if you get it like okay let me just show you again let me do it again so maybe this will help it, it, you know it's kind of something like i can show you a little bit but in the end at the end of the day you're going to have to figure it out you know what works for you because everybody you know they have a different hand and different way that they make stuff and different ways it could work for you you know works for me not you whatever so um that's the deal on that so anyway okay we talked about putting a button over here i was going to put a little bit i'll show you when i set this okay this is too big, although it matches the size of this one. I'd have to take this out. And then I think we go back to the double-breasted suit thing, which I don't like that look for this. Oh, that's too big for there. I think this is going to be perfect. Yep. Okay, let me show you. Alright, so I got my handy-dandy glue, and I'm going to spread it. Let me make sure I'm on camera here. Go back a little, Go back a little bit. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And now I'm getting it only on the back. Kind of chipping, dipping it and scooping it up. Okay. Can you see how much I have? Let me see if I can use my pointer and show you. It's about halfway in and it's domed up a little bit. This is plenty of glue for this little piece. Okay. So now I'm going to take the piece and I'm going to push it into place. And when I push it into place, it will start to go under the piece. And as it goes under the piece, it will hold it. Now, I might have to push this up a little bit more to get it. Yeah. Now, hmm, I thought it was enough, but it's kind of giving me a feeling. Okay, because there's more dimension here. Anyway. Okay, need, need to go back and do some more. Okay, just be careful because you don't want to get a glue glob mess. It should have been enough, but you know, it just depends. Every case is different. Okay, push and set it. So okay. pretty much like a chip and you put Chip like and dip. Sauce. Yeah, chip and dip. Like you're chip you scoop it up sauce. you're scooping <laughs> up some salsa. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Yep, works. Let me see what this looks like because I'm not sure I was gonna put somewhere else. No, that's not balanced. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. Okay, so how did I have this in here? Because, you know, the way these are made on the backs, they're you're kind of random because they're handmade. So you kind of have to find out how they're going to fit for you. Look at those. Yeah, that's, that's good. So I'm going to have this little leaf off to the side in this case. And it will... Oh, here, here, come, oh, here she comes with a rubber chicken. I'm trying to show them how to glue now, honey. You're such a child. 
I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you now? I don't I'm remember. I'm 28. You're 28. I remember when I was 28. 28. That's when I got pregnant with Jordan. Really? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah. I need more. So I'm just kind of pulling up off and putting a little more. Sometimes you got to put a little bit down to get it to seat and go where you want it to. Okay. That's done. Okay. So where are my dilemma problems now? My dilemma problems are right here. Right here. Here, here, and something on top of this, and it's pearl fill here. I'm getting there. I love how this looks, so this looks good. Me likey, me likey. It's just more, um, I think it's just a more elegant looking piece this way. That's my opinion. Now, here maybe I want a dome. Yeah. Where oh, these ones? Yeah. Oh, you guys see these? Just see, we ran out of them, but don't worry, I got more on the way. <laughs> I didn't buy too. Oh, we ran out of them like oh, immediately. Man. I didn't buy too many of them though because um, I didn't know if things would like it, you know. So I got this little dealio, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six different types of flat back pearl sizes. I think they look like they're from like uh, three millimeter to maybe fourteen, fifth, uh, fourteen or twelve, something like that. Anyway, there's this is so cool. I mean, it's secure. They're not coming out. So then you just flip them up when you want to try stuff. If you don't like it, put it back. Which is maybe what I'll do. I don't know. So that's how that works. But anyway, this time I ordered them in, in colors. Colors? You yeah. mean like different colors? And today, Shelly put little packages of mixed colors, um, like two sizes in a bag for very little money. So if you like the pretty spring pastels, she put them on the website. Well, it's actually this morning she did it. I think I want a bigger one here. But anyway, these are really cool. I think they were under $5. I can't remember what they were. If somebody remembers, they can shout it out. But um, anywho, yeah, they were a screaming deal. Somebody and said, very useful. Somebody said, I think the left needs more for balance. Yeah, I think you're right. I've been thinking, I've been ruminating on that. How do I do that? Somebody said you could, uh, Without throwing this off. Add a rose, I think. Rose. I don't think... Uh, I had a rose there. I glued that one. Well, here's a loose one. I could put it in there and just yeah, maybe see. a little one. I wish I had an itty bitty one, but I don't think we have yeah, one smaller than this. Hmm. Well, I said, why don't you get more of our roses? I says, well, I get as many as I can. These were handmade. These roses were all are all from 1920. A lot of people. Um, you know, they remember 1928 for the, having the porcelain roses stuff. These are the porcelain roses. They had ladies who would come in and make them, and they made so many that they have stock to this day. And he shares it with me, so you guys can have some. Isn't that nice? He's a nice guy. <laughs> he and his wife are having their anniversary really soon, too. I gotta think of something. I think 48 years this year. She's a lovely person. I really like her. Okay, so if I put that there. Yeah, I think it, it gives it a balance. Yeah, I thought maybe, maybe I should put it back in, huh? Maybe I should put it back in and then put this here. This big pearl. It helps to now it's going to depend too what I put over here on the other side. Oh, I'm so f f fumbly. Who was saying that? I think Shelly was saying this morning. You should do a video on how you can make jewelry even if your hands shake. shake yeah. Because mine do, and it's usually maybe, well, I don't know. I know it's not because I have a major issue, so don't worry. But you just drink a lot. I've just, my hands are just shaky, they've always been. But I make jewelry. 
I think it's the coffee that does that. You think it's the coffee? I've been had much does coffee does today. Too. Does it? Yeah. I haven't had much coffee today, though. Yeah, you're not shaking too bad. This is pretty good. Last night, oh, dear, I was shaking terrible. Now, if I put this here and this here. And now I'm getting into the double-breasted suit effect again. So it's got to be something dissimilar. Well, let me take care of this side first. Side first because I think it it helps out with the lack of balance. Who said it was lack of balance so I can thank them? Okay, chip and dip, chip and dip. Okay, where did I say I'm putting this? I can't remember. It was here, wasn't it? Oh, jeez. Where was I putting this? I can't remember. Oh, okay, it's going here. Okay. I just saw, I just saw in there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> See, it works out, bringing your iPad. Okay, so that's going to go in here. And there's plenty of glue on that. Got a little excess in here. I'll oh, take it that. was, um. Colleen. Oh, Colleen Bullocks? Yep. You are so right. It lacks balance. Okay, so I put that there, but I still got a little... Where's that little flowery thing that you were telling me put it on? Oh, that yeah. That clamped down. What happened? See that? It just clamps down and closed. You mean yeah. this one? Yeah. No, well, it was down. a little smaller one. Yeah, this one's yeah, it was really. More this over. one is more ruined. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, so I just got an idea. An idea. Well, yeah, I'm gonna try that after I set the. Did I set this? Yet? No, Barbara yeah. Kelly said a rose top left to make a tri cluster on something leaf bit of gold. Leafage on the top is green. Where, where, uh, let me see. Bottom, bottom, rose left. top left to make a chill closer. And, <laughs> and gold leafage on the thing left by camera. Yeah. Huh. Oh, she. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah. I don't think I want to put any more roses on this. Not because I couldn't, I could. I just, I think it's going to be too much. I got a yellow one here. I agree. <laughs> no, too much roses. Let me see what it looks like. But she was saying somewhere up here or something. Yeah, or she right made here. Maybe top of the green over here. Oh, right okay. Up. All right. She's saying maybe with the pink one. Well, that yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not saying I could get a pink one, put it there. But Barb, if I do that, then I have a lack of balance over here. So I'm thinking, leave it out and do a little less is more stuff here. We have them this way and right here. And then I gotta get something going on here, something going on here, and I'm gonna need a little something going on here to cl clean, you know, to to um, take care of the glue globbiness. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this here. So yeah, if you didn't see the video from Friday, it's a, actually it's it came out to 18 minutes long. Oh, we were going to tell you about making it. I always tell Javi, make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth. Because that happens to old ladies, you know? This is like, okay. So, this time, she filmed it, and I'm talking away. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the video done. We brought upstairs to render it. And I had some kind of goobers in my hair. Not like, like a piece of paper or something. Uh, it was it like, kind of like white food of some kind. <laughs> on the side of my head. I'm like, oh, jeez. She's well, maybe it won't show. Maybe it won't show. So she goes, look, Brenda, we have to make it. <laughs> yeah, look, it looked pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh. Well, that'll be a lesson, you know, to check it out first before we start. Yeah, I can wait. No, I don't want to put this in here. I don't like this for here. Okay, so I need, now what do I need? I need a little something for here. I need a little something here. And a little something here. Was I going to put any more buttons? Buttons. I don't know. Small. Very small. Where's my box? Work. 
I'm just going to try it. Oh, here she comes. You know Rob would do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he could be so annoying. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, My cat yeah. doesn't like the rubber chicken. Uh, well, what cat would like that rubber chicken? <laughs> Come I'm on. trying to make it. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's going to have... I couldn't believe when you brought that to work today. It's like, how, it's awesome. how does it do rubber <laughs> chicken? Crack it up I thought car. I was the only person like that. <laughs> you know what else I like? I like those headbands that have an arrow on one side and on the other. It looks like, you know, you got shot. <laughs> with an arrow. Oh, one of those. Yeah, I see. The, who used to wear those? Steve Martin, I think it was. Yeah, those are really different. It looks like somebody did actually shoot you in the head. Yeah, I, every time I see that, I laugh until I'm stupid. I'm just, it's just dumbness. I don't know why. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. I guess she'll die. Okay, where is it? Okay, it was this one. Okay, right here. Okay, that keeps it not exactly the same, but it helps with the balance of it. And I think we're equalizing it pretty well now. Just It's going to depend what I put here. Somebody said, uh, I think uh, Sandy said, would you want to use white micro beads for one Any of, of these? those tiny pieces? Yeah, you could. You totally, totally could. I'm not going to this time, but it would totally work. Lisa says she has a rubber chicken. <laughs> okay. Well, you can join the rubber chicken club. Yeah, Sandy, that's an excellent idea. Um, but in this case, I'm not going to do it. Not because I think it's the wrong thing to do. I just not. I have something else in mind. But yeah, thanks for bringing that up, honey. I appreciate that. I think that's a great suggestion. Okay, here's another one. You say, oh, why is she not using her pickup tool? Well, because we're not using it because. For the pickup tool to work, you really need to have the glue down first. It works great if you're setting stones into settings. You know, those little multiple setting types, especially in the vintage pieces. Fantastic for that. Or if you're picking up flat backs to stud something, but you got to have the glue down first. Or if you're using cerulean. Yeah, cerulean. Perfect. Yeah, you can put it. you got to have something sticky down to take it from you first. And then if you do, it'll be a good choice for you. I don't know if I want that there. I'm thinking about it. So you see how it goes. So anyway, I'm going to finish this up. And then I'm going to look at who commented on here and took part in our discussion today. Oh, I wanted to show them my necklace. Oh, yeah. Show them your necklace before we go. This is Javi's cream. Let me set that down. Oops, I taped it in. It won't, it won't go in here. Okay. What'd you color that with? Uh, sh Sharpies? Sharpie? <laughs> yeah, this is Javi's necklace. She had this on this morning or this afternoon. Let's see if you can see it. I think it's way, it's, it's behind. It's behind, yeah. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> here we go. So she's got a polymer clay rose in the middle, and these are glued down. No, she wired her beads on. Yeah, I wired her beads. beads. Are, her beads are wired on. The chitons I put on. Chitons glued. she glued. And, and she's got a little briolette. She's famous for her briolettes. Have you seen Javi's uh, video on wrapping a briolette? It's awesome. She took that tiny little job she did on <laughs> Jeez. And then she makes her own chain. And this is, I think, something she's going to teach us at the class. She loves to make her own chain. Now, this takes some time. I don't know if you're selling your jewelry, if this is what you want to do or not. I don't, you know, you could use them for spacers and put yeah, these in between true. them. But see, what I like this for would be a bracelet. Yeah, I like it for a bracelet too. That's beautiful. Awesomeness. Yeah, they flatten them. The mm -hmm. Yeah, these are all flattened on bench block. So... 
Maybe we'll have her do some of that for us. We're going to have such a great time this year. It's going to be fantastic. So I hope you'll come. I hope we fill up the room. I think we will. I think we will. So anyway, I give this back to Javi. I'm going to finish this up. I would keep going, but we've been on here now for an hour. I think so, yeah. Let's see who all's here since I looked. Lori Wooten, hey! Lipstick, yeah. <laughs> okay. Tinker D says it's pretty. Alexandra Steely says, I love the patina and simplicity on the necklace and the swirly chains. And yes, it is. She does a great job with her chain. Pat Walker says she likes her chain. Be doing. Everybody's saying they love the chain, Javi. Oh. I'll go just a little bit longer to... If somebody came in late, that they could get their comment in so they can win. And then I'll finish this up, and I'll sign it over to you. Now, oh, I'll show you what the back looks like. Because you might be wondering. I used a mount in the middle, 40 by 30 mount, in case you weren't there when we made it. And I applied it to one of our crescent mounts, which is like this. That's an old chocolate brass one, but looks like this and then I put the mount in the middle. What do I have to like simulate it? Well this isn't the mount I use although you could do this. So I did that and then I put the hanging hole at the bottom so I could hang my tassel. Okay so that's what I did. That was the base and then I started chaching it up. All right cha-cha-cha. Then turning it over. This one looks like on the back. Okay I got some glue clean up here. Maybe I can take care of that now. There's not much, though. Normally with my pieces, I don't have a lot of glue mess because of the glue technique and because I've been doing this a long time. But um, it's no sin if you do. You just have some, you just have some mess to clean up. And then, like I say, um, what you'd want to do is get yourself a little bit of goo going. It costs, it's under $5, and you really should have some anyway. And... Um, then what you'll do is you'll put that on a swab, and you will, um, who goes there? Is that John? Is she trying to get out? My husband's going to come home from work. Yeah. He's probably going to want something to eat. Maybe not. Anyway, you'll get some goo going on a swab. That's her trying to get in. And um, you'll just kind of soften it up. Put the put the swab on it, kind of soften it up, and then start pushing it with your tweezers. Like, I probably will do that here. Because you also want to be careful when you have a big bunch not to to pick it off too far or too aggressively because you could loosen the piece, too. You want to do that. I have a little bit here, too. But there's not much to do. Actually, this amount of glue, the way it is, uh, for me, it's acceptable. Um, you just don't want big oozing blobs of glue coming out the back. I mean, it's inevitable you're going to see some glue like here, you know, you're going to see on these pieces because you have to come through. But anyway, so what I would do on this one, what I will do on this one, once all set up and it's done, and I will sign it and I'll date it and I'll sign it over to you, and it will be your special piece that you now own. And you can remember when we all sat together. And had a great time making it. So I gotta figure out what's going in here yet. I can't remember what I said. Put something in here, something in here, and something in here. So tell you what, we will take a picture when it's done. Okay? And we can share it with you next week, unless it, if it's still here, uh, it might still be here. And uh, you know, it's very likely will, because I got a big week coming up. But anyway, whoever wins is going to get this probably within 10 days, okay? So we'll see who wins after the video's over and we go off the air, so to speak. And what we do is we count up the unique comments. It means you get one comment. One comment counts. If you comment only once, you're in. If you comment a bunch of stuff, you're in for the one. And then um, we will... Find out who wins. We'll do count up the numbers and put it in the generator and find out who gets it. And 
I will then come back on the comments, which appears under the picture of Let's Fix This Jewelry Possession, you know, where you would normally comment on a regular video. Then you, I will put it right there. Hey, so and so one, yeah, use yours. And if it's somebody I don't know and I don't have your address in my database, then um, I'll tell you where to email to give it to me, okay? All right, so it's easy. So anybody can win. And look, is that how you say it? Look, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, let's see who else there is. Karen, she says it turned out beautiful. Oh, you just like me, Karen. That's all. Joyce Bailey, hey, how are ya? So, okay, guys, I think we got to go for now because I've, I'm going to wear out my welcome. But wasn't this fun? Yay! Yay! Oh, yay! Yay! Where's mine? Right here. He needs to, chew, he needs to chirp, too. Here, he's okay, chirping. We're going to chirp, chirp them together. Okay, let's get them together. Okay. It's over here. Yay! Yay! Okay, enough of that. All righty. We're not children, but sometimes we act like it. Okay, love you all. Thank you so much for coming. You're fantastic. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do, because then you'll get notified. If you click, if you click the little bell next to the button, you'll get notifications too. And um, I'd like to see my subscribers grow. It's not anything YouTube pays me for or anything like that. Um, it's just, it's just a good thing see that go up see how many people are watching and tuning in like what you do just does my heart good we had about a hundred new subscribers this last week so i am yay pleased with that that's really <laughs> really wonderful so anyway thank you so much for coming we'll meet here again next week at 4 30 so be there be square right love you bye bye, bye.